Hello everyone. So we are back with the second set of our favorite books for two to four year olds. The first one is the Cordroy, which is a sweet and warm story of a little bear whom nobody wants to buy from the toy store. Why? Because he is missing a button. So there is a little girl who just wants to buy this bear, but her mother doesn't allow. So this little bear goes on an adventure trip to the store to find the lost button. It's a beautiful story with the bold, bright illustrations of and the young children. They can very easily relate with the teddy bear. So it's a story about the friendship, the courage, the hope for the little bear who wants the love of this girl or anyone who can find a home for him. This is the selfish crocodile. It's a wonderful story about the crocodile who is selfish and who doesn't allow the animals to use the river. And all the animals are so gloomy and sad. So one day when this selfish crocodile is in trouble, what happens? All the animals are looking but everyone is scared of this crocodile. But there is a little brave mouse who helps this crocodile and that changes the mind of this crocodile after receiving the help and the book is lovely book with bright pole illustrations which bring to life all the wonderful creatures of the forest next one is the wonky donkey it's a hilarious rhyming book about a donkey and what happens so i was walking down the road and i saw a donkey donkey says hee ha it's a laugh along book with the kids. It's an illustrated story of a spunky, hanky panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky tonky, winky wonky, donkey. The phrases are repeated over and over again. And as we know, children love the repetitions. Again and again, the same things are repeated. They are able to memorize them. The next favorites are Oliver Jeffers, Lost and Found. So there was a boy and one day he found a penguin at his door and the boy thought that the penguin is looking sad and he's lost. So he goes to the lost and found office but no one is missing the penguin. So how this little boy is trying to help this penguin and able to reach him, able to take him to the place where he belongs. So he builds a boat and goes on an adventure, goes on a journey so as the penguin can go his home. It's a lovely book about the growing friendship between the boy and the penguin. Next one by the Oliver Jeffers is How to Catch a Star. It's an inspirational story of a boy who loved the star so much that he, decide, that he decided to catch one for himself. So it's a magically beautiful illustrated book, picture book which tells about these reaching for the dreams. It's a story about the possibilities and dreams and how this little boy, the expressions, the emotions of the disappointment of ultimately winning it. Next one is, I took the moon for a walk. It's a story of a kind boy who goes for a walk with his new companion, the moon. And it's an enchanting adventure story of a boy book teaches about the nocturnal animals like the owl the night time he's taking a torch just to be careful he's not afraid of dark but he's taking all the precautions he finds the dogs howling and what happens he's caring about the moon also he warns him that don't get spiked with the with the church the church tall spin so it's a lovely book next one is mr brown can move can you? It's a book of wonderful noises read aloud with giggles and laughter and fun. So how? Mr. Moo can make different noises. He can make noise from a cock, from a bee. Mr. Brown can buzz. How about you? Can you buzz like this way and big alphabets so they can you can make them see those identify the alphabets also. He can go like a roaster, cock a turtle too. He can go like a rain, dibble, dibble, drop, drop, blow, blow, slope, slope. Next favorite is the oil frog. It's a fantastic picture book with the hilarious rhyming tale of a frog. 
who does not want to sit on a log and he discovers that all the animals have the special place to sit cats sit on the mat the mules sit on the stools the hares sit on the chairs the goats sit on the coats they are rhyming words goat and the coat the stork and the fox the silly illustrations so many animals lovely book next one is the rainbow fish it's a simple story about a beautiful fish who learns to make friends by sharing his most prized possession it's a beautiful fish in the ocean who scales glittered and shimmers with all the colors of the rainbow but the fish is lonely so how they fish learns to make friends by sharing his scales beautiful scales it's a book about the sharing and caring about being a friend so rainbow fish is lovely story next one is the favorite bedtime story llama llama red pajama so it's a read aloud book about a baby llama who turns the bedtime into all out drama drama so well the kids can easily relate to this book as they know when their mama is not there with them they create full on drama so how the baby llama first whimpers and then hollers next one is guess how much i love you classic story about the love a parent and a child have for each other and how they are comparing their love the baby nut brown hair is saying see how wide my love is so wide i love you so much it is so far so it's a sentimental tale of little nut brown hair who shows her daddy how much he loves him it's a heartwarming story with a beautiful simple illustrations the last but not the least is the david goes to school by david shannon it's a story about what a day school day looks like for david and how he struggles to follow the rule david's teacher is constantly saying him no 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 but he doesn't listen it's an amazing book for the kids and what happens about the naughty naughty kids it's a excellent book for the kids who have just started for the school and how they get the prize once they follow all the rules and they listen thank you hope you like this video and please let us know in comments that which book is your favorite thank you